Hello, I'm Philip Brunel, Artistic Director and Founder of Vocal Lessons and Organist Choir Master at Plymouth Congregational Church in Minneapolis. So each day I've selected a composer, either one of the past or present, who's had a role to play at both organizations. And today it's the German composer Paul Hindemith. Born in 1895, died in 1963. He was not only a composer, he was a violist, a violinist, a teacher, a conductor. He began as a youngster playing violin in the Frankfurt Opera Orchestra. Later, he was a professor at the Berlin Hochschule for Musik. During the time of the Nazis, his music was thought to be degenerate. And therefore, because of that, one of the things they did is they moved him, the Germans, to go to Turkey and help establish a music education program there, which he did for some years and which was very successful. He came back to Germany, but because his wife was part Jewish, they fled from Germany and moved to Switzerland and in 1940 to the United States. He taught at Yale University and at Cornell. He wrote all kinds of chamber music and orchestral music and music that was called Gebrauchmusik, which is sort of music for everyone. And I'm gonna give you a little example of that in a moment. He also wrote sonatas for every wind and string instrument. When I was at the University of Minnesota, I don't know why, but I became known as the accompanist for Indemann. These are not easy pieces to play, and I became the guy that would be the accompanist. It started out with the trombone sonata, it moved on to the tuba sonata, the trumpet, the French horn, and many others. I loved them, they were wonderful. Complex music, but really terrific. So, one of the things about Hindemith, he wrote three organ sonatas, and one of the things about it, you hear it, and it comes to what we call a cadence. It comes to the end of a phrase. So you have this. started, which would have been but it ends so the next time that same phrase comes along the ending becomes still unexpected then you come to the end of the piece, and finally, it does come back to, because it'll suddenly have you here. In 1953, he wrote a work for UNESCO called Canticle of Hope a text by the French poet, Paul Claudel. And I can't imagine what the audience thought at that time of this piece. He wrote it again with the audience to join in singing at the very end. But we're talking about very bombastic music. So the, here's the introduction. And then suddenly the voices come in. And basically, they say, away, wings, swiftly moving, go to people who are torn and uh, help rescue them. So when the chorus comes in, they go. Thank you. 
as it comes to the end of the piece, suddenly is when the chorus is to join in and to sing. Now that may seem to you like a very difficult kind of vocal line to sing. Hindemith thought it was not difficult at all. Well, with a composer like that, you find so often that they can surprise you. And Hindemith was one of those because early in his life, he um, composed a piece of music that doesn't sound anything like what you've just heard. It was in 1922 that he wrote a little dance of the wooden dolls. And to listen to this, I doubt you would guess Hindemith was the composer. wonderful day.